Well, we are indeed. We've managed to get a little bit closer, and I'm trying to see very clearly whether its legs and beak are yellow or if they are red. Because if they're red, it would be more towards an Amor falcon. But like I said, this is quite a big falcon, so I don't think it is. I think it's in a Eurasian hobby, which would be one of the last ones that we have. These are Palearctic migrants, so they go all the way into Europe. But if we have a look here, I'll bring it out. Now, it's difficult because the light is so orange at the moment. It's throwing a bit of extra color onto the beak. But if it is, that is what we're talking about there. Now, like I say, some of you maybe got a better screenshot of it and we can have a look. But that is what my guess is. You can see the heavily streaked chest area, like what we see on that bird. And then a very distinct mustachial stripe that we see as well. And then there's the yellow legs and beak. Now. For those of you who are wondering how big it is, if we actually go back and have a look, you'll see that there is a forktail drongo that's not far from it that we can use as a scale of measure so we can see how big it is in comparison to the drongo. So for those of you that want size, there's the drongo on the left and there's the falcon on the right. So you can see it is much bigger than the drongo. Now, the head of this bird is also looks very, very clear. So that is why I'm going to say Eurasian hobby. And that is what I'm going to go with. It's too small to be a lano. The lano would be much bigger. And like I say, a peregrine is not quite as streaked as that. So European hobby is my guess, which is a very good one. It's the first one I've actually seen this summer. I've seen them before down on the Sabi River quite a lot, but I haven't seen them very much here. I think Brent's seen one this summer. I'm not sure, but I think he has seen one and he was telling me about it the other day. And in fact, he said he saw it in this general area as well. So that's a really cool sight. And I reckon it's going to be one of the last ones we're going to see because it's like many of the other birds are going to start making their way back north and away from South Africa.